Hello nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Weekend Nerddom Gaming Edition for the week of May 28th, 2018. This week in gaming, we've got a really interesting thing about Far Cry. Uh, this is something for you Fortnite players. Check it out. Vampire stuff and things. Let's jump into the intro now. Quiet on the set. Rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Yeah, generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we jump into the news, guys, let's get into the sponsor for this week. This week's sponsor is Punishshirt.com. You can go get this shirt over at Punishshirt.com. That is the only place to get this generally pun shirt. And they have a bunch of other stuff up there as well. So visit the little uh, address that's going across the bottom of your screen right now. I'm so grateful for the guys over at Punishshirt.com. They are sponsoring all of this week's episodes. So thank you guys very, very much. And now let's jump into the news. Minor update on Far Cry first thing first. Uh, so there is a thing. We didn't talk about it when Far Cry came out because I didn't, I didn't read the, uh, the bit about it. I, this might be the first time that I've seen anything about this. It's a thing called Far Cry Arcade, in which it lets you uh, build a map for multiplayer, single-player purposes, and do up to six-on-six six six multiplayer on these maps that you can build. Um, the reason it got brought up is because someone on Reddit, a guy calling himself Solid Gold Turd, real classy kind of dude, uh, is making the prison from The Walking Dead. You can see the pictures right here. Um, it looks really good. It's as much as you know you, you can expect really from super stock kind of stuff. But yeah, I if, if I had Far Cry, which I don't, I really want to get Far Cry. I'm just broke. Um, I would totally be getting this map, uh, but I don't, so I have to watch other people play through it. So far, so good. It looks really, really awesome. If you do have Far Cry, be sure you check this out when it's done and, and, and make some really good Let's Play videos so that I got something to watch. But that's all we got there. Next up is very important news for Fortnite players. Fortnite players, apparently now that it has become like the biggest video game ever, uh, there's a lot of scams in order to, uh, people trying to sell V-Bucks and fraudulently you're just going to be giving your money to some, your real world money for this fake world money and not getting your fake world money. So be very, very aware. Uh, Epic Games took to their Twitter the other day and posted there are only two legitimate places to get V-Bucks. Uh, for those of you that don't know, V-Bucks are the Fortnite uh, dollars. It's what you spend in order to get new gear and things. Um, so the links to those two places are down low in the description. If you have any, any question, those are the only two places that you can get V-Bucks legitimately. Otherwise, you very likely could be scammed. So be aware, Fortnite players. Next on our list is Vampire. We've talked about this before, and now we have 55 minutes of gameplay. Check it out in the description. Uh, it This kind of illustrates the kind of awesomeness of the, the legit choice between being a bad guy and being a good guy. You can, you can drain, and there's a lot more to the 55 minutes because it's almost an hour worth of footage, so there's more to it than this. But the, the thing that I thought was the most interesting was it illustrates what it is to be a full-on evil vampire or just somebody who happens to be a vampire who doesn't want to kill people. Uh, the, the dichotomy and actually how that affects your environment and so much of what games that give you that evil, good uh, path choice have been trying to do for years. Uh, this game, I feel like, is closer to pulling it off. Probably not going to be 100%. Probably not going to be, the the in the long run, the best example. But one of the early good examples, I feel like, is going to be uh, what Vampire becomes. 
Uh, yeah, the first 15 minutes, just in case you're looking at it, the first 15 minutes of the video that's posted, it's a Twitch link. First 15 minutes is just the placeholder card that says, stream will be starting soon. So it, that's why the, the, the URL has the start time at 15, almost 16 minutes. Uh, so, but that's all we got for Vampire. Next, we're moving over to World War Z. We got another gameplay trailer. Link to that is in the description. Check it out. Uh, it's called Stories in Moscow, which kind of lends me to believe they're still trying to borrow elements from the book, but mostly, and, and they even referenced this in my source, that mostly this is just going to be a, a, a video game version of the movie which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Actually, the way they told the story would be better in a video game than it was in the movie. Uh, so this just kind of reinforces things we already knew, but it is new, so check out the gameplay trailer down below. And then last is a little bit of a meta thing for video gaming. It's all about loot boxes. And recently, Wedbush Securities Analyst, Michael Patcher, uh, said that he thinks loot boxes exist because customers are stupid. That's almost an exact quote. I didn't write down the exact quote, but that's my memory's not that bad. It's it's pretty close to exactly what he said. Um, the reason I'm, we're talking about this is, is he wrong? I, that's the conversation that I want to start with this is, is like, Obviously, hardcore gamers, the people who have been very vocal about the issues with loot boxes and how stupid they are, especially in Star Wars and Battlefront and so on and so forth, but the reason... Uh, so those those players, the hardcore players, the, the actual people who play these games professionally and, and, you know, spend hours upon hours, those people, I don't think, is who he's directing that statement at. Who he's directing that statement at are the casual gamers who don't want to spend the eight hours it's gonna take to unlock that thing. They just wanna pay the extra 30 bucks to unlock that thing. Uh, I I honestly, I feel like as crass as he put it and, and, and he's just trying to do it in the most uh, inflammatory language, I think he's right. I think legitimately, that's why games like Candy Crush and all of the, the Bubble Witch and all of those casual games, why they uh, make the, their companies so much money is because people are stupid and they don't want to wait and they don't want to get better at a thing. They just want to spend money so that they can say they got farther than you. Um, if, I, if, if, if you disagree with that train of thought, please, please let's have that conversation down low. But, but that is the last bit of gaming news this week, guys. Thank you, thank you for watching all the way to the end. What did I miss in gaming? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you can continue the conversation. You can get all the other freebie stuff. You can get the links to the stores and the social medias over on generallynerdy.net. Net, or if you want to support the channel a little more directly, patreoncom nerdy is the place that you can go to do that. If you are new to the channel, please click the subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap one of those boxes right over there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go, guys, always, always remember if it's generally nerdy probably here.